in this tutorial we will learn or we will create a door handle with the help of surface lifted feature so you can right click on any tabs go to tabs and here you can activate surfaces okay so let's uh, make basic structures or uh, let's make basic sketches so i am going to start with top plane sketch now here i am going to create two sketches now i am going to select one center line draw one vertical line and go to tools now here go to sketch tools and here activate dynamic mirroring because anything i will draw in one side automatically copy in another side now here system asks please select sketch line so i am going to select this one you will see the lines now activate here center rectangle see the rectangle draw okay now i am going to select here okay let's uh, create relation equal smart dimension let's make 50 sketch fillet 10 radius and select this rectangle select yes to all okay let me select this also okay cancel okay now let me draw the center distance 150 that's fine now we need to define some more relation so select this center point hold shift key select this center point horizontal look our drawing seems fully defined if you don't want to see these all uh, notes you can simply turn off from here see this relation but sometime we need it so keep as it is exit okay now this is the basic profile for door handle now we need to make one more profile let's say right plane sketch activate here ellipse okay we make one ellipse make important relation select these points and make it horizontal again one more point this center point and origin point make it uh, vertical A smart dimension 40 20 and let's say center distance 60 look this profile seems fully defined so simply exit and leave it okay now look we have three profile to connect each other but still we need one path to perfectly align this so front plane it is actually located at center of all profile so select front plane sketch now i want to connect with a guided curve so i am going to choose here spline let's make one point at center and click somewhere here right click exit now little tilt now let's select this point and this point make it coincide similarly select this line hold shift key select this point and make peers again normal now you will see if you click you will see this drag handle so just select this top point and you can manage or whatever you can do it with with this now select this uh, drag handle horizontal okay A smart dimension let's define this middle one vertical let's say 60 and horizontal 75 okay we need a center line also okay now let's define this is already already defined but let's define some more things so okay let me draw one vertical line because i want to make one uh, let's say angle for drag handle okay now let's say the angle between these two 
drag handle and vertical line 10 degree now select this drag handle and define the length let's say 130 okay this one is defined now let's select this this one and this one and ang defined angle 70 look it seems more now select this drag handle length 130 okay let's define the drag handle this one 80 now see this is going to be small okay look it seems fully defined this sketch okay so i am going to choose mirror entity select this profile make sure selected copy and select this line as a mirror entity a reference line you will see the preview say okay simply exit look we have all the profiles and guided curve now simply go to surfaces activate lifted surface now here first you need to choose a profile either close or open profile no need no problem right click select manager or if you select this profile it will ask you you have to define open loop close loop so this is a kind of closed loop you will see the preview so here selected closed loop say yes now after this you have to select this one not this one otherwise uh, you have to uh, maintain the order if we change order it will be difficult so second in order i am going to select this ellipse okay now third one i am going to select this now this is also a closed profile system took here now come here start or end constraint start constraint select normal to profile you will see this uh, pink line this is going up let's say uh, start angle tangent length one millimeter here selected apply to all means this is going to apply all end constraint means this normal to profile see this is the end constraint and this is also going to apply zero degree one but if you see the profile see this is not fully aligned so here we have one option called guided curve now simply choose this profile and you will see how this curve fully aligned now we don't need to move these nodes anywhere just keep as it is if you need more perfection here choose normal to profile see this is going to apply normal to profile look this is going to perfectly align even sometime uh, uh, you can drag this and put it on particular location or uh, near to this end point now merge tangent faces we don't need to close show preview say ok and here this is our drag handle or door handle let's apply thicken feature let's say 2 millimeter and here thickness inside outside or middle so let's select this and see thickness going to add outside now either let's say i'm going to add thickness inside see say okay look this is how we create a handle with the help of lifted surface feature you can uh, let's say define this one don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching